The ruling parties of Taiwan and Japan convened their second two plus two talks virtually Friday morning. As widely expected, the two sides discussed the lifting of Taiwan's import ban on foods from five Japanese prefectures, a ban that's been in place since the 2011 Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. Japan's Liberal Democratic Party lawmakers said the import ban was a priority issue for Japan's central and local governments as well as its parliament and business communities. Taiwan's DPP lawmakers responded that the import issue was important to Taiwan as well and that Taiwan would handle it in accordance with international standards. At a public appearance on Friday, President Tsai Ing-wen declined to comment when asked if Taiwan intended to lift its ban on select Japanese food imports. But not long afterward, at the Taiwan-Japan 2 plus 2 talks, the two sides delved into the issue of Taiwan's import ban. They believe that their local governments, industry representatives, parliament and the executive branch all view this issue as very important. Our response was that we also view it as very important. We will face this problem and appropriately apply scientific methods and international standards to the handling of imports from the five Japanese prefectures to Taiwan. This was the second Taiwan-Japan 2 plus 2 summit following the first held in August. The virtual meeting was between the ruling parties of the two sides. The Liberal Democratic Party was represented by lawmaker Sato Masahisa, chief of the party's foreign affairs division and parliamentary vice minister of economy, trade and industry of Japan, Ishikawa Akimasa. The DPP was represented by legislator Luo Zhizhen, who also directs the party's international department. The second representative was legislator Chou Zhiwei, a member of the legislature's economics committee. Days earlier, Sato said on social media that the meeting would address Taiwan's import ban on select Japanese food products. Our two sides did not discuss a timetable for opening up borders to the imports. Both Taiwan and Japan agreed that this was a food safety issue and that science should be at the center of our discussions. The summit on economic and diplomatic issues was scheduled to last an hour, but it ran 40 minutes into overtime due to positive engagement. Even at the start, the atmosphere was light and convivial as Japan lawmakers displayed Taiwanese fruit before the video camera. House of Councillors lawmaker Sato brought out a sugar apple from Taiwan to express his support for Taiwanese agriculture. House of Representatives lawmaker Ishikawa Akimasa brought out a Taiwanese ponka mandarin, and he put it on display on the spot to convey his support for Taiwanese agriculture. At a time when we're facing a boycott by the Chinese economy, Sato specifically mentioned that ahead of the Japan elections, the LDP, which is seeking to remain in power, has stated clearly in its election manifesto that it welcomes Taiwan to join the CPTPP. But with regard to China joining, the LDP has not written a single word. Friday's talks were between two political parties and carried no state authority. Even so, closer ties between the two countries' ruling parties are seen as beneficial to state-to-state -state communication. During the summit, the two sides agreed to convene two-plus-two talks on a routine basis in the future.